let's keep on uh, moving through this design and let's finish up this sheet metal part. Now, one of the design uh, criteria for this part is to have a stiffening feature that goes the entire length of, of perimeter all the way around this part. So to, to do that, I generally use an edge flange. Now what is new for 2021 is if you right click on any one of these edges, you're going to see an option called Select Tangency, which has been around for quite some years. But what is different is the fact that now we can extend an edge flange across nonlinear edges that are connected to a linear edge. In this example, you can see that my flange of a half inch is now being propagated across the bin region, giving me a more stiff component. What's really neat about this is like any other sheet metal part, I can go ahead and flatten this out and prepare this for a DXF um, for my manufacturing environment. So we're giving you a lot more functionality inside that edge tool to create more complex geometry. Let's look at another way that we can leverage that edge flange inside SOLIDWORKS. In this case, I have this feature right here, this edge flange, but I really need to protect these components of, this, the, of the inside of this uh, roving vehicle. So let's do a quick design change. I'm going to edit my part, go ahead and edit this feature. And you'll notice that even when I'm bending an edge flange that is inside a bend region, I can go in either direction and you can use all of the common tools that you're used to using. In this example, I'm going to flip the rotation and I'm going to go ahead and modify the angle of this edge flange, producing me a more complex piece of geometry, protecting my internal components. Just like before, if I wanted to go ahead and flatten this out and create a sheet metal flat pattern for my manufacturing environment, this edge flange is able to be flattened and create a DXF just like any other traditional edge flange that we're used to creating.